Did I just hear phantoms? We yeah. got tons of phantoms. Oh, I can't pay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll, I'll sleep. It won't um, let me sleep. No, oh, the way. it's not working. Nope. I didn't. Well, oh, it no, won't I even let me in the bed. Sleep is not now. working, but jaws ain't working. Why am I on the roof? Yes. <laughs> 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 I sleep. Else on the roof. <laughs> I sleep. No. Not good. No. It won't let me sleep. It won't yeah. let me get in the bed. <laughs> one player sleeps for work. No, it says one oh. one of 12 players sleeping. <laughs> yeah. <No>. Dangerous. <laughs> I think we should stand by the portal with our uh, our our heads facing the portal. Yeah, so we can get I, a picture of, okay. of uh, Chicken Liberty. Ow! 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 <laughs> Whose idea was it to do this? No, I'm just kidding. I'm glad. There's I blame Leanna for that one. Unfortunately, we can't get completely. We can't get Chicken Liberty completely in it. <laughs> That's what cam accounts are for, Vic. <laughs> you know, I need I need to oh, log in my cam account, but I don't know if. Uh, oh, at, <laughs> Oh, we got a friend. Yeah, we got a friend. <laughs> right, I'll have to find out right now. Wee. Okay, so, <laughs> so we. Hey, there's a bad guy here. How dare he? <laughs> Stinky as oh, a snow. <laughs> oh, that's another thing I can pick up, by the way, is hay. Oh, no, there's paper and a compass and stuff in here. And empty maps. Oh, no. There's an extra leather cap in this chest if you want it. Oh, I've got a cow head. I'm fine. <laughs> And welcome to first episode of the Adults Play Minecraft Server Season 3. Of course, phone goes off right at the time. <laughs> so, we're here in a new world. Probably saw some clips of our start. No, I am not at my base place. <laughs> this is uh, leading us in groups, kind of central area. They have their bases. Uh, around somewhere, you know, crossways over there. I think it's somewhere in the area. Taz is somewhere else. Lena, <laughs> what is she building? Stuff. Yeah, our base is yeah eight thousand blocks that way. Spawn is way over there, <laughs> so we're. Just a ways out. Uh, and playing with a couple client side mods, as you can see, we got map in the upper left, some inventory, HUD plus stuff in the bottom right. Also, we still have our HUD stuff in the bottom center. I can't jump to save my life. <laughs> plus, some other quality of life stuff is all, you know, nothing major, game breaking, game altering stuff. But do have some elevators and stuff like that. Also, this is the crossplay server as well, so we do have a few bedrockers playing with us. Stuff turned down for you don't get the whooshing effect with the portals. Because you know, that's kind of nauseating. And shade is really bright. So, big plans this season is we are going to be doing another railroad coming out of spawn for everybody uh there will be a substation here for lean and the crew just because there's a bunch up there's a bunch of them up here and they will essentially use it out to use the entire station so yeah we're just going to go ahead and build a separate substation for them but i'll build the main at spawn run all the lines as we do and you'll know, make it a good season I also got some plans for my area as soon as I get over there so let me do that and be right back with you guys so probably first things first I'll show you the big stuff we got planned so as I said we do have a station planned for the season been working the last couple months trying to uh, 
get design down, get a look design down and everything. And you're probably thinking, why is there so many iterations of the same station? Well, first this was a three, like this. So this is actually going to be... Sorry, you can use Tweaker and Flag, flag, flag Cam, Free Cam to get around a little bit here. So, number two, this was a three, but with doing the mini hub for Lena, thought, okay, we'll just have a, a two station because we won't need a full three. But this is what the original three looked like. Pretty nice. All the fun redstone stuff as we know from season two. A little different control panel, of course. We weren't sure how many people we were gonna have on, and we were already reaching a little over thirty people. So I was like, "Well, a three station do forty-five, and we need enough for um, airways bases plus point of interest locations." So I was like, "Well, push comes to shove." You know, we'll make a quad station. And we'll just, because we're going to have elevator blocks, we'll just, you know, pop up from the center, up to above and out to a portal, you know, as we needed. But we kind of capped off the applicants coming in for crossplay. And so, I don't know. So, wasn't worried about needing more than 45 stations. Then we came up with a. So basically, I did the design for the walls, the station, floor. But I ran out of creative juices on the railway, on the rail lines. So, reached out to the network. Lena came through and uh, helped me come up with a design for the rail lines. So, this will basically be designed from. 15 down to 5, then once we drop down to 5 stations wide and less, so our offshoots, it's basically the same except for the plant, as for the stems, or not stems, the vines. We're going to just do pane glass instead, just so it's not as kind of claustrophobia, claustrophobic. We'll do that now for this season, just because I'm doing the mini hub for Lena and them. I'm going to do the three, the three tier one, but we're going to go ahead and block this one off for now. And reason behind that I'm thinking is because like this rail, this station side, the west, this would be west, this is going to be north, this is going to be east and south, of course. This one is almost full, just with people's bases, including mine. This one, not so much, because, like I said, they're never going to take one station line going out to their mini hub, to their mini hub, to the mini station. From there, they'll branch up because they're going to be doing a lot of back and forth to each other's bases in the area. So it just makes sense for them to just have a short travel distance via rail, then coming all the way to spawn and going all the way back out. So many times throughout the day, they may as well just fly around to each other's bases at that point. So they're going to get a mini hub on their side and they'll have a rail line to come back into spawn. Well, we only have, you know, about half a dozen people or so coming out this side. So I figured we'll use two. If we get more bases or more point of interest we need to address and take care of, you know, to cover, then I could simply like move their line over here of the stuff going north. I'll just, nope, well, we'll just pop this wall down and we'll start using this railway. I kept it there and I kept it here. So, simple enough to undo and reform. All it's going to do is look like this on the outside when, we, when it gets reopened back up again. So, for now, it just looks solid and make things work there for them. In here, it's going to be a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> it's going to be a whole lot of open space. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> and more this is like this is almost gonna be free floating, actually in the in the nether. Um uh, the Taz is going to build up some kind of foundation for the towers coming up. And then we're gonna do something with the the top end for the roof. Because we're gonna have these kind of like look like they're supporting the roof, so we yeah. It's support, there's no you know, quote unquote cave ins is uh if you want to stick to any kind of storyline or lore or anything like that going on. Uh that's just the basic redstone because I need to send the basics to Lena so she can she and the others can work on a particular design they want to do for their substation. Now for my base. We're going to need a big storage unit. Storage system. Well, what better than, you know, a big storage system. Big storage system. <laughs> uh, so we're also going to go ahead and have an elevator going in and out because you tell there's no way to get in and out of here other than elevators. But we're going to go ahead and utilize Joker loaders and non-loaders this season. Now, I have 16 bays on this side for shulker loaders. And so we're going to use these as major stuff. So use stone, your stone variants, sand, dirt, cobble, uh, deep slate, all that, all the good stuff. That's just, you normally get so much of with digging out big areas, you know, gravel, netherrack. I'm going to be doing, I need a lot of netherrack for the station anyway. So, We'll go out and collect it, and I'll go ahead and dump it in here, just to empty out shulker boxes, and then we'll, you know, come back and take the shulker boxes to the to the furnace, and they'll get offloaded and smelt them back down. So we're gonna have all the shulker loaders. This one specifically is just gonna be the nether bricks that get smelted because there's gonna be so much of them going through. You know, we we'll wanna make sure I have large enough storage so they don't just go through overflow. And from there, just every other block that just comes out that, that we get, food, whatever, we'll just go down to these uh, smaller systems. Because that's still two, three, four, five, six double chests. That's going to be plenty for the majority of things we're going to have going on in here. Which I do have these, so I did make sure I went through, set up stuff, figure out what... I would probably normally be getting. Uh, we have 154 chests. I think that's just the, these ones. That's not counting these. So far, I only am filling 147 of them. So we're going to have about seven seven sets for overflowage, non stackables, non, non, -sort, non sorting, good stuff. Um, I'm in free camp, so I can't uh, actually open chests, but we're going to do all the ores. So we're going to have their their block, their ingots, regular, you know, like coal, charcoal, stuff like that. And then, uh, not, not charcoal actually, but like the coal ore in both the stone, deep slate variants have coal pieces and then coal blocks and so on and so forth with all of the other ore. So like gold, we'll have uh, stone, stone gold ore. Deep Slate, Nether, then it's Gold Ingot, Gold Block. <laughs> so, a couple of, you know, that's one that has the highest form. Uh, food, mob drops we're going to have, wood, all the woods, including the stems, and their sapling fungi uh, sets. Uh, all the other blocks that are not in the mass storage. And then color blocks. So we're going to do, I'm playing wool, concrete, and terracotta to have in storage. That's like going to be the primary stuff going on. We'll also get a cup farm going, just make sure we can actually uphold all the spelt that we're going to have to do with all that nether rack, plus our own stuff. Just big V 
kill farm. I also have like Matica installed so I can at least copy it and build things to exactly like especially the station. There's no way I'm gonna build that from memory or have to go back and forth between worlds just to build the thing. So we'll make use of Light Matica for now, just to know how big of an area it is and what blocks go where, so it makes building that station a whole lot easier than I had in season two. Uh as I've done with bedrock, minus the fact that we can't push hoppers and chests like Bedrock can. <laughs> I have to make use of a whole lot more redstone to make it work. So this will be a, a timer system. So once this reaches 25, it's, I can't remember the exact amount of, oh wait, am I in? Okay. I'm in the right boat, but I don't have this stuff in here. Let's see, it is, yeah, so, what, 18, 25 stacks plus 5. Fortunately, that plus 5 is, makes a little extra burnage on the other end, but it's fine. A little extra waste front side versus doing it the other way, it's less waste. So, that's the limit once that hits. These reverse, or this one hits first to lock the top hopper. This one done to drain out the chest this that way we have a good burn amount of time we're not saying just having one come in at a time or anything like that to a to a smoker or whatnot it's just to burn and you know potentially waste fuel so once that fills up to the amount it's going to dump it to here once everything stops flowing this will go back and forth just shipping everything out now it does give to 100 pieces per furnace and then five of these will have that one extra kelp, unfortunately. But I can't really do too much about that. Uh, so yeah, be good times, good times. We'll have our smelter input, or fuel input. That's our other input there. And then, so... I'm gonna have like a little island for my place, which I'll once we get back into the uh, world, I'll show you. But I'm gonna have these little buildings up top that will act as their counterparts. So like, okay, we need items. Like in real life, when you need items, you go to a store. Well, this would be a general store, just because it just is. This would be the elevator going back, going down to the storage unit storage system so store to pick it to get stuff so there's the store and we're also going to have a bank per se this is where we'll drop off our sugar boxes to be deposited into the system simple enough and you know there's a system in there so that way once if the Shulker boxes, shulker box loaders, you know, fill up entirely. Or um, also, you set it up for if we run out of shulker boxes in the system, anywhere in the system, it's going to lock the input. So that way, it, it's going to lock the output from a shulker onloader, so another more can go down and cause a jam in the overflow system. So, as I do, there's some some protection stuff. Here we have looks exactly like a forgery. Now this is going to be a separate smelting system. It will be a 32 smelter. So we'll have a trap chest to get stuff into the system, into another shulker on loader, and then one for fueling purposes. And then I also do have to have something that goes for from the shulker all loaders to bring the shulker boxes back the empty back up because say you have just stuff in your inventory you just want to drop in you know to deposit into storage or into the smeltery you can if you don't have an empty shulker box on you this is 
basically going to be like a pure design. This will actually be what's going to be over the kelp farm to get it up and to get it back and forth in there. So like right here, we'll have a elevator going up and down for it. And we'll do like a map. We'll just have some storage here. Pure Masters uh, desk and stuff. It's just a miscellaneous storage stuff back here. So, you know, it's easy enough stuff. Just And we're going to like feel like a, I'm going to try to do like a pure, a pure village. Um, Base, base stuff, so hence the all the small buildings is having like you know one large base building like I've done in the past. Uh, this <laughs> will obviously just go down to mining levels for mining purposes. So very very simple for that one. Uh, that's not really anything. That was a first iteration of the storage unit when I was planning just mass. Uh, chest instead of using the shulker loaders as you can see <laughs> which was supposed to be you know utilizing uh the lights when everything gets uh for your levels which so yeah i think that what we're gonna do there is gonna be a lot better and this does have um it has lights here for when it's full, and it has lights up here when the shulker box uh, barrel gets, when this gets empty, that means we're only down to the dispenser and a hopper, so 14 shulker box in, in that one system. And like I said, I'll probably, yeah, hello, upper lane. Uh, yeah, I think I'll bring a piston up here so we can do the same thing and trip this line if uh, the shulker is empty. Just how I know there's some kind of issue with the main system, the main storage system. Yeah, so let me hop back into the world and uh, get back to the base and I'll show you guys everything there. All right, so we are back here at the base, and perfect. Looks like somebody just left. <laughs> that is good stuff. So let me just get back in free cam here. So this is load. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, don't worry about that thing in the bottom. That's the uh, Shaders interacting with uh, Light Matica, which is screwing it up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so this is going to be the little island that we're going to be building on. So basically, I got the cup farm about here underground. So the pier, obviously, the pier would be in the water. <laughs> so it's going to be over here. We'll have our storage room somewhere over there. Uh, they will have the smeltery and stuff like that around, which I'm going to have to do a new design for so I can uh, get things to work. Whoa. Oh. I <laughs> can I see the water. Probably again, that, uh, yeah, this light medic is screwing it up. This is where the kelp farm is going to live here. So I got a lot of digging to do yet. Fun times, fun times. Uh, I do have my job account set up on here. Okay, shaders are screwing things up right now. <laughs> oh, fun times, fun times. Uh, Oh, also we do have the timber mod, so basically we just use an axe and chop down the bottom piece of log, and it'll chop the rest of the tree down and uh, fast decay the leaf. Now, of course, you do have to have durability on 
your piece of uh, your tool for it to work properly. So now this axe is pretty much dead. So that's fine. But it's great because like chopping down the big old Oh, that was the ocean. I found it. It's in the sky. Yup, let's just do this. There we go. Swap shaders for now. So that things can actually work. Look normally. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Like I said, that's where that's gonna be built up. Looks like all the guys will stick out stick out in uh Oops. that's not a stick. That's a stick. That's it. There we go. Of course, that's kind of what it looks like <laughs> with the, uh, because all these blocks need to be removed. But here you can see, like, okay, there's the observers, pistons, the water, all this still needs to be removed. That's bright. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the series. Um, I'll probably mostly be do time lapse for the station build, so I don't bore you guys out with that because we're gonna have plenty of stuff to do. And given how many, given how much station I gotta build, uh, might be easy just to do it uh, time lapse wise. But I'll see as we go along. I just gotta get my that camera account into the Nether. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll bring the face cam back um, in another episode. Uh, I, with the current room set up, the my back is facing the window, so it kind of really wipes me out on the camera. So I need to get probably invest in some blackout curtains and stuff to have behind me to help with that. So, but they'll be coming back soon. We'll get some armor on us, some better armor when we can, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.